James, James, you made it. Where are the rest of you? Brady's dead. This is Nick. Hi. Do you know what's going on? It's like an infection. An infection? Yeah, it, it started in the graveyards and the hospitals and it's spreading out from there. No, no, I've heard of this. Someone's done this before. Someone studied this. Yeah, there's a Canadian group. They used a mathematical model to, uh, to, to see what would happen when they, the infected meat, the susceptibles. We should have listened. Do you know where they're going? Nowhere. And that's just it. They're just wandering around aimlessly like drunkards. But using that, what I found is that anyone within 100 meters of the graveyard it's around 28 minutes before they meet one of those things. So what, is there any way we can slow them down? What I found is that if you slow them down by a half, you double the time it takes them to get to you. But if you double your distance, that time quadruples. What about the ones who've been bitten? I'm sorry, but they're dead. You see, their population numbers depend on the rate that they can bite us compared to the rate that we, we can kill them. If we can kill them quicker than they can infect us, then our survival will simply come down to a race of extinction. What we need is a large population that are more deadly than they are. Is there anything else we can do? There is one more thing. I didn't want to say it. We have to remove the human population. If we can remove the human population, then the infected can't infect us, their population can't then increase. Are you suggesting we kill other people? No, but it would slow the infection down. What you need to do to survive is run. Run, and don't stop running. In the long term, we need some kind of fortified society, but if those barricades fall, we need to slow them down and be more deadly than they are. Get down! Get down!